So we've got these three solutions mixed. I want to find the concentration of every possible ion in solution after this happens. Okay, so this is actually two, three, four, a, a multi-part question. Uh, let's see what reaction occurs when these two are mixed first. HBr plus calcium hydroxide. What would we call this reaction? How would we classify it? Uh, what did you say? Neutralization. Neutralization, great. And that's a subset of? Double replacement. Double replacement. So you could have said either. It's totally fine. Let's do that. We have a strong acid and here a strong base. So we would get a salt, which in this case is calcium bromide, and water. Uh, everything's aqueous except water, which is a liquid. Okay? Okay, there's two bromines here because the calcium is plus two and bromine is minus one. So let's balance this. I think I need a two here and two on the HCl. Great. So I want, okay, now before I get to it, again, the question is, what's the concentration of every ion in solution? So I need to figure out what's a strong electrolyte to know what ions are in solution. So this mixes a little bit into chapter five for us. Uh, is that a strong electrolyte? It's a strong acid. Yeah. Is this? It's a strong base. Yeah. Well, this. Salt. Yeah. Salts. Salts are strong. Uh, electrolytes as well. How about water? No. no. Not a good electrolyte. Welcome. Fun place to sit wherever. Okay. So I really have um, two H pluses. I have two BRs, I have a calcium, and I have two hydroxides, uh, and over here I have calcium, two plus, and two bromines, minus, and then water is not an ion, so I won't write that one down. So I think what your TA is asking you to do? is find the concentration of all the spectator ions in solution. Is that okay? So that would be bromine, calcium 2 plus, and those. I don't think they, he or she wants you to find the concentration of H plus and OH minus, unless they specified. I would ask them about it, because if you wrote out the net ion equation, it would all go to water immediately, and water is not an ion. So if you were confused in any way, I would ask about that if we're doing a test or something. So what we'll do is find the concentration of calcium and Br in solution. Okay, now we finally know what the question is. We're ready to start. Uh, let's find out what the total, what's the total volume if you mix these three? Is it 180? Yeah. yeah. 180 milliliters. Okay, uh, and so I have the total volume. Now all I need to know is the moles of calcium and the moles of bromine in solution, and I divide it by the volume, which is 180 milliliters or 0 0.180 liters. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what to erase first, but I want to erase something. I guess this. And I guess, I guess I'll raise the reaction for now. Okay, so let's find the moles of bromine from here, and let's find the moles of calcium from here. Because the moles aren't changing in this reaction for any of the spectator ions. They're just, spectator ions just sit there and watch. So we got 30 milliliters times 4.0 uh, moles per liter of HBr, this is for the first solution. And then uh, let's convert, there's 10 cubed milliliters in the denominator and a liter in the numerator. That'll count out the volume units. This is moles of HBr. And just to be complete, I'll say there's one mole of HBr for every one mole of Br minus in the numerator. Meaning this will be now the moles of Br minus. 
I'm going to do the exact same thing now for calcium. So for calcium, there's 100 milliliters, and that's in the second solution over there. Uh, then there's 1.0 moles per liter of calcium hydroxide. And I again have to convert a liter on top, 10 cubed milliliters on the bottom. We get rid of all the volume units, and I'm left with moles of calcium hydroxide. Again, because of the question, what's the moles of the ion, calcium, and not calcium hydroxide? Just to be complete, I'm going to take one more step. There's one mole of a calcium for every uh, one mole of calcium hydroxide. So this will give me the moles of calcium. So now I have from the top here, moles of bromine. From here I have moles of calcium. What am I going to do with those numbers to get molarity? Divide by? Yeah. So I'm going to take this one and divide by 0 0.180 liters. I'm going to take this one, 0 0.180 liters. Is that okay with you? Okay. Uh, and I think those are the only two ions they're asking for. Um, how would you determine which, which one is the limiting reactant? Because you did not say it's a complete reaction. Oh. Well. Because you would not know all of those compounds that you use to make. Oh, okay. You're asking a super interesting question. So he's wondering, uh-oh, is one of these a limiting reactant? And I have to worry about it because maybe something is not all consumed or whatever. The good news is because, and you'd only know this from chapter five, uh, starting in section two, bromine is a spectator ion, I means it's not consumed, it's just in solution. Calcium also, likewise, not consumed. It's just watching the reaction take place. So in that case, they wouldn't change in the reaction. 